What is up guys, I'm Rick Kakis, and it's been a rough couple of days, so I just wanted to say a huge thank you to those of you who have continued to support me over the years, and guys, I definitely don't plan on stopping making helpful content for years to come, so thank you so much for continuing to show up for your boy. But today, we are gonna be focusing on genuinely one of the most broken mods I have ever seen. But I mean broken in the literal sense of the word. I know broken is often used to describe something really good. It's been used to spice up many a YouTube title. But I mean it's literally doing things it should not be able to do to great benefit to you, the player. And that mod is Energy Accelerant. Now some important info for new players or people watching this months from now, Energy Accelerant is a seasonal artifact mod added within Season of the Splicer. It's one of the final mods unlocked and it says your Dragonfly, Chain Reaction, and Firefly Explosions deal more damage. And obviously before we can talk about how it's broken, let's talk about what it does as a base effect. So. If this mod only did that, it would be pretty decent, especially because Firefly as a perk was just added to the legendary loot pool this season, so a lot of good weapons, like the Fatebringer hand cannon, can get it. And we can see the effect of Energy Accelerant right here. When I'm killing enemies with the Fatebringer and there's other enemies right beside them, Firefly activates and the nearby enemy is hit for around 7,600 damage, which is at or near the max damage. It is a little bit hard to test for because it does scale. If that enemy was a little bit further away, it would get hit for less, and maybe if it was a little bit closer, it would get hit for a little bit more. But that 7,500 damage came up quite a few times. And then when I put Energy Accelerant on, now that Firefly Explosion hits a nearby enemy for 15,000 damage. Again, that number comes up quite a few times, maybe not the exact same, but that is very obviously a doubling of the Firefly damage from 7,500 to 15,000 damage. Okay, so that's cool, but what makes this mod broken is that it works for so many more things than just Firefly, Chain Reaction, and Dragonfly. One of the main things that people discovered was that it works with the new Crown Splitter Sword. This is an aggressive frame archetype, extremely rare, we haven't seen this in years, and it has a special heavy attack where it creates kind of an explosion when you slam the ground. And Energy Accelerant is going to double the damage of that heavy attack explosion. So you are capable of using the crown splitter to great effect. I was taking it through the highest difficulty empire hunt and almost one-shotting the champions uh, when a buff was applied. So this thing is even capable of being used effectively in high level content. But that frankly is just the tip of the iceberg. Speaking of swords, another sword this actually works with is caster frame swords. So something like the Temptation's Hook or something like the Solus Scar from Trials of Osiris. Both of those, when you do the heavy attacks with those swords, that is also going to work with Energy Accelerant. You can see right here, when I shoot the sword, I guess, at Kali, I'm hitting for 4,000 damage every single tick. Then I take it off, I'm hitting for 2,000. So we get that same doubling of a damage effect, but this time, for a sword that can be used almost like a rocket launcher, it can be used at range, and the implications of that are actually pretty darn big. And, like, doubling the damage, like, this is a significant effect. This is a significant amount of damage we're actually seeing doubled here. In fact, you know, the heavy attack from the Solar Scar, because it does damage over time for a significant amount of time, the raw damage you do is actually going to be more so than a lot of other sword heavy attacks. And if you want to get real spicy, remember that the Solar Scar can actually spawn with Chain Reaction. So that means Energy Accelerant will not only boost the damage of its heavy attack, but if you do cause enemies to explode with Chain Reaction, it's gonna boost the damage of that as well. That is absolutely the wombo combo and a half for this mod right now. But it doesn't even come close to ending with the Solus Scar. Because the next weapon Energy Accelerant works with is a long forgotten exotic from Season of Arrivals, and that is 
the Ruinous Effigy Trace Rifle. This is a pretty crazy exotic. What you do is when you shoot an enemy with the normal trace rifle, then that enemy, when it dies, is going to form a transmutation orb. And then you can pick up that orb, that sphere, and do several different attacks with it. You can just press the trigger to do a light attack. You can press uh, aim down sights to do a heavy attack. And you can even hold guard to create a sphere around you that sucks damage in from enemies around you. It's a really unique exotic that unfortunately hasn't seen too much play, but it turns out if you do that heavy attack, this slam, as you can see here, normally I'm doing about 60-ish thousand damage, but when I put the mod on, I'm doing 130,000 damage when I slam down the orb. So that is a significant amount of damage you're getting out of just a special weapon. So when I was using this in Override, it was really effective. I would just run into a group of enemies, slam down, and kill all of them. Even the big, like, mini boss yellow guy bar would die with one slam. Definitely try this out with the Ruinous Effigy just for the fun factor and the uniqueness factor factor. But guys, that's actually not all. Another weapon this is going to work with, and this is an interesting one, is the Polaris Lance Scout Rifle. Now, some of you Destiny veterans may be saying, wait a minute, Rick, doesn't this already have just normal Dragonfly? And yes, the Catalyst does add Dragonfly, but that's actually not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the perfect fifth perk. So, precision hits return ammo to the mag, but when you land four precision hits, it loads a delayed solar explosive round for your next shot. That's its own unique thing, but that seemingly also works with energy accelerant. As you can see here, if I don't have it on, I'm hitting for around 3,000 damage as that delayed solar explosion, but then when I do have it on, I'm hitting for 6,000 damage. So again, we get that doubling effect, and that's pretty significant. The Polaris Lance is actually a pretty decent PvE weapon when it comes to a primary dealing a considerable amount of damage to maybe even a boss, like just picking it down because you can get that infinite ammo if you're landing precision shots, and then now you're telling me every fifth shot does double the damage it normally does? Yeah, that's gonna add up. Okay, but moving on from there, the last weapon we're looking at, and this is just the weapons I've discovered, maybe there's even more out there, so if you guys know of any, let me know in the comment section down below. But I frankly can't believe I don't see more people talking about this because how effective it is with this mod. It's actually the Sunshot. So this exotic hand cannon has the perk Sun Blast. It's somewhat similar to Dragonfly, but way, way better. It says targets killed with Sunshot explode in solar energy. So you don't have to get a precision hit like Dragonfly. You can shoot an enemy in the toe and they're still going to explode. And really importantly, this means that when an enemy explodes and kills a nearby enemy, that enemy will also explode. And then if that enemy's explosion kills another nearby enemy, that enemy will explode. So you can literally kill one enemy in a group of adds and all of them will chain react, explode, and it'll just be fantastic for ad clearing. And as you can see, it seems to double the damage as well. So pretty clearly 7,000 damage when enemies are right next to each other. Put the mod on, 14,000 damage. There you go. And like, the Sunshot was already fantastic at clearing out adds, especially when you do have that chain reaction going off. But do you know how much more common that chain reaction is when you've suddenly doubled the damage of the Sunshot explosion? Like, it is a guaranteed kill when you kill an enemy, and therefore, it's a guaranteed kill on the next enemy in the radius of the explosion. This thing is now unbelievable at ad clearing. Like, it's actually disgusting, and it's so darn easy to activate. And the best part about all of this and all of the variety is that you can basically put together an energy accelerant build. For example, in your kinetic slot, you could be using a Fatebringer with Firefly. In your energy slot, why not use the Salvager's Salvo Grenade Launcher that has Chain Reaction? And then in your heavy slot, use one of the swords it works with. 
and boom, all three weapons will be affected by energy accelerant. You could use the Sunshot instead, and then a Pradius Revenge Snipe Rifle with Firefly in your uh, Kinetic, and then again use a Sword, so you can actually, again, go out with all three weapons being doubled in damage, essentially, in terms of their uh, explosive effects. And yeah, use this while you can. Bungie has already nerfed this once. It used to work with the Telesto and it used to work in PvP and it was absolutely broken. It's still completely broken and who knows how broken it's gonna remain for how long. And so guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity the best way is to follow me on twitter at rick Kakis. that's linked in the description down below again i hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day